I create a new sequence using the new item icon and I will choose a sequence from within that drop down menu. I will choose my output, the final output for my video. In this case, I will choose DV PAL standard 48 kilohertz as I want to convert it into a DVD and I want to rename this sequence slide show. I press enter or I click OK. Now, I have a folder here called basic pics that contains 400 pictures. I don't want to display all the 400 pictures within this small project panel. So I double click the folder icon and it pops up a window that contains 401 items as specified on the top right corner of the window. Now, I want to select all of them without a specific order. Therefore, I'm going to use the shortcut Command A on a Macintosh or Control A on a PC. Then, on the very top right corner of this pop up window, I see there is a little fly out menu icon. I click on it, and the fly out menu contains automate to sequence. I click on it and immediately pops up with another little window that says automate to sequence ordering options. In particular here, I might choose whether I want to order the photos in my slideshow according to the selection order or to the sort order. Since in this case, I just did a control A or command A, there is not a specific order, so any of the two will do. Down here though, there is a more important function, which is transition apply default video transition. I don't have any audio in this case, therefore I will remove the default audio transitions. When I press OK, all the clips will be placed in my timeline, and in the timeline I can zoom in using a plus to see that every picture in this timeline has actually a transition in between. I have made sure that from Premiere Pro preferences and general, I have picked this default scale to frame size to make sure that the picture will scale down to fit within the frame. Now, if I want to add some audio, all I need to do is just to select my music bit and just drag it down into audio track one. I can play my slideshow. And in this case, by tapping backslash on the keyboard, I can see that this slideshow will last about 26 minutes. It took me less than two minutes to create it.